Hello my dear students welcome to the subject of statistics for the class 12th english medium the first part the chapter 4 that is the time series today we are going to start with the methods of time series methods for determining the trend of the time series the first method is the graphical method and the second method is the list square method what we are going to study in this tutorial is the first method that is the graphical method now the graphical method uh, as we have studied in the correlation and regression the scatter diagram method we co also call it the graphical method of studying the time series in short we plot all the points on the graph paper because this is the easiest method to find the trend the points are plotted on the graph paper the t variable is taken on the x axis and the y variable is taken on the y axis the points in the data given are plotted on the graph paper accordingly they are connected with a line to make an original series once we create this original series we either draw a straight line or a curve curvy line which is nearest to the most of the points it is drawn on the basis of an estimate and uh, this straight or curvy line is called a trend line uh, i am giving here an example the t is 1 2 3 4 the data is given 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 i am going to give you the points on the graph paper and after drawing all the points you can see a straight line the dotted line so the dark blue line the blue line which i have plotted according to points is the original series line and the dotted line which you can see on the graph paper here on the screen here is the trend line so this is how we are going to do the graphical method let us start with the merits and the demerits the merit of this method that it is very easy to understand and use second that the trend can be found without any mathematical formula or calculations that means we can find the trend we don't need any mathematical formula or calculation for this we just need to prepare the graph it is used even if the trend is not linear that is even if the trend is curvy we can use this method to find the answer uh, we can get the judgment about the type of curve to be fitted for obtaining trend using this method that means we can get also get the idea of a curve even if it is not a straight line linear but even if it is curvy we can get the idea how to obtain that the limitations of this method number one that it is possible that different people can do, draw different curves hence uniformity is not mentioned maintained the pr same problem which we had in the regression that as different people can draw different curves or lines the answers for each and every is every person is different so same type of answers could not be obtained we can get an estimate but we can't get the exact answer for example in regression we had that regression equation which was the nearest the least squares the least error method we can't get such an accurate method using the graphical we'll start with some of the illustrations and then the exercise for this particular method even if it is not that accurate method it is asked many times in your examinations and it is an important method so we will be doing sums for this as you can see here there is the yearly production of a factory and uh, we have to obtain the data using the graphical method the data here is years 2006 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 9 15 and the production is given in tons what we are going to do is first convert this data according to our variables like this we will convert any time variable into numbers simple numbers even if it is any year we are just going to convert it into numbers even if it is days or months or weeks anything we will be converting it into numbers so right now i have given straight forward numbers starting from 1 to 10 as 10 years are there i am converting 2006 into 
7 into 2, 8 into 3, 9 into 4, 10 into 5 and likewise I will be converting the data into numbers. Simple, nothing else. The production here I will write as it is. So first for the time 1 the production is 20, 4 times 2, 23, 4 times 3, 20. Uh, likewise I have got the whole data. Now once I get the data I have to plot it into the diagram. So I will start with this diagram here. Uh, I have taken the y-axis measure as 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. On x-axis we have 1 to 10 so no difference there. I will start by plotting the data. The 1 is 20, 2 is 23, 3 is 20 again, 4 is 28, 5 is 32, 6 is 35, 7 is 30, 40, 45. And then once I get the 47, I will draw, draw this dotted line. I will try to keep it as near to my original series as possible. So I will draw this line so that I get my linear time series. So this is how you solve this question. You draw the original series and once you draw the original series, you start with this straight line. Try to draw it straight. It is either a curvy line or a straight line. It depends. If you see that your trend is going in a straight manner a straight line then draw a straight line if it seems that it is rising and then falling or falling and then rising that if you draw a straight line it is not going to be useful then draw a curvy line it is totally up to you guys what you want to do with this we will move forward with the second illustration here the second illustration states the data about month and monthly sales in thousand rupees the months are january february march april may june july august september the sales is given what we are going to do is convert this months into once again numbers first month is one number and likewise one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine months are there we have got nine numbers what we are going to do is start by drawing the table as you can again see the data here we are going to convert it into 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 based on your chart paper you can convert according to your there is nothing fixed you can take any measure on y axis any measure on x axis it is not at all difficult or compulsory. I will start with drawing the data here. 13, uh, 1 is 13, 2 is 14, 3 is 15, 20, 25, 35, 47, 49 and the last data is 57. Now as you can see drawing a straight line is not possible. So you can see here that I have drawn a bit curvy line it is actually a lot straight but also a curvy not exactly a straight line not exactly a curve what we have to try to do here is we have to keep our time time series line the linear line very near to the original points but remember don't draw it half as hard it should be a simple curve or a straight line not uh, like a snaky line okay don't do that so that's the end of illustration 2. Now we will start with the exercise 4.1. The first question of the exercise 4.1 is years and the capacity to load ships at a port each year. In 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, the data is given. What we are going to do is convert this data into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 as you can see in the bottom and the data is again written you have to write these tables in your answers the data we have written it again we are going to start by plotting the points here the first is 90 then 97 then 108 then 111 127 148 169 and we will draw a straight line here that is 200 and we get a straight line that is the linear line the time series line so uh, my dear friends it is not necessary that you follow me exactly you can draw your own line but remember that this is the best line that I have drawn because this has been drawn using the computer software itself so they have drawn the best line here which is possible second question here is the year and the number of tourist visiting a certain tourist place we have to find the trend using a suitable graph so i'm going to start with the data here i'm going to convert years into one two three four five six seven the data is as it is so the first is five second is seven ten fourteen thirteen 
40 41 50 as you can see the data was rising continuously so we couldn't uh, draw a straight line so the line here is the curvy line here as you can see the line curves a bit at the end so this is the best line that is possible for uh, this kind of uh, data here we are going to draw a curvy line third question here the data regarding number of girls per thousand boys is given for a uh, group of 0 to 6 years the year are 61 71 81 91 2001 and 2011 so per thousand boys number of girls is given we are going to start with the data here we will convert the years into 1 2 3 4 5 6 doesn't matter if the data is in 10 years period or 2 years period 5 years period or 1 week or 1 month we will convert it into 1 2 3 4 5 and so on I will start with the data plotting on the graph as you can see it is gradually decreasing the trend here is decreasing gradually and so we have drawn here the straight line because the trend shows a linear trend right now so the line the time series trend line will be the straight line here The last sum of the exercise, uh, you know, the drawing tables is not something which I need to teach you guys that you can do on your own, which you have already studied for so many years. This is the last year of your schooling. So you must know how to draw tables. So what I am explaining here is how to estimate those lines or how you actually plot them on the graph paper. The days are directly given 1 to 10. The price of share is given. You have to write it as a t and y t into your answer and once you are done with that you have to start by plotting the points on the graph paper one by one one is 297 two is 300 three is 304 four is 299 five is 324 320 318 324 329 and the last one is 328 as you can see here we have drawn a straight linear line as it was necessary or it wasn't in a curve it was actually quite straight trend as you can see here so this are this is what we are going to do so with this our exercise 4.1 ends you on this exercise and this topic was only about drawing tables which we have already done in the past two chapters nothing new here nothing difficult just revise this topic if you have any doubts about drawing the lines there is no particular loop rule about how to draw this line what you have to do is just take a scale and try to keep your line as near to, to as uh, the original values what we studied in this particular tutorial uh, was methods of presenting time series merits and demerits of graphical method illustrations based on the graphical method and we completed the exercise 4.1 what we are going to do next time is that we will discuss the list square method of solving time series problems now that method is the most important one it has the five marks weightage with it so stay tuned stay home stay safe for the next tutorial